Being able to read a topographic map is an important skill to have. Topographic maps use contour lines to display the terrain and elevation changes in an area. These maps connect the different points on a map that have the same elevation. As these lines get closer together, it means that the elevation is significantly changing. But as the lines space out, it shows a more gradual change and slope. Generally speaking, topographic maps utilize three main contour patterns to depict different changes in the elevation. Concentric circles are used to represent hills or peaks, with the center of the circle or innermost circles representing the areas with the highest elevations. Widely spaced lines show gradual slope changes or flat areas, and closely spaced lines show steep slopes, cliffs, or significant elevation changes. Now, when looking at the contour lines, you want to pay close attention to the index line. These are specific contour lines that are labeled with their elevation value. They appear on the map in regular intervals to help the map reader quickly identify the elevation on the map. These lines are usually drawn thicker and darker compared to regular contour lines. The change of elevation between contour lines is always the same for each map, so pay attention to the contour interval listed in the legend of the map. For instance, a topographic map with a contour interval of 80 feet means between each contour line, there is an 80 foot elevation change. When looking at the legend of the map, also pay close attention to what the different symbols, colors, and shapes on the map mean. Generally, the darker the colors on a topographic map, the thicker the vegetation is in the area, while lighter colors generally show areas with less dense vegetation. You can also find the magnetic declination, also known as the magnetic variation, which is the angular difference between true north and the magnetic north. This will help you align your compass to account of the magnetic declination when determining the correction in direction. Another key component you want to pay attention to is the map scale, which refers to the relationship between the distance on the map and the actual distance on the ground. For instance, a 1 to 24,000 scale means 1 inch on the map equals 24,000 inches of real world terrain. Smaller scale maps show more of the Earth's surface, but will have less details, while larger scale scale maps show less of the Earth's surface, but will have more detailed information. You can also find a representative scale, which will help you better understand the distance on the map. Lastly, topographic maps also have horizontal and vertical lines that run across the entire map. These lines create a grid and are used to help locate where things are on the map. Horizontal grid lines that run from west to east are called eastings, while vertical grid lines that run from north to south are called northings. Grid lines are typically spaced at regular intervals, allowing the reader to measure distance on the map by counting the number of grid lines between two points. To gain insight into the grid lines, you can look at the grid reference at the bottom of the map, which provides information on the map and can help with identifying different locations on the map. Topographic maps may also use longitude and latitude line. Latitude lines run parallel to the equator, while longitude lines run from pole to pole. These lines can help determine the absolute location of a point on the map. Understanding the contour lines, index lines, scale, grid, and legend of a topographic map is key to being able to read these maps correctly. Hopefully this video helped you better understand topographic maps. Remember, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time online.